I, I thought Adam and I have talked about doing some things in particularly to try and move things on and, and I was going to talk about some of the things we're trying to do in terms of some of the courses and some of the, the principles we're trying to, to work out. I'm going to talk about a couple of things. The MBA program that we've got and the change management, change and innovation management program we've got. And the innovation management comes from that coming together in the Freeman Centre. Um, and I think the kind of basic thing about this, what we're trying to do here is, is to move away from courses. We're moving towards the idea that what people want is to actually do a short course, perhaps get a credit, perhaps get a certificate, perhaps get a master's degree. And we want to be able to, produce, to deliver them in the place that people want them. So, so there's a, a shift in our thinking as a university and a shift in what we're trying to do. So what we're looking at here is delivering things in block mode so that people come over and either come here and do it or we go to them. And I'll give you some, a quick run through and it will be quick. <clears throat> what we've got on the MBA program, full-time program, public service management program, knowledge management and leadership program. These three are all in block mode. And last year, the knowledge and management, knowledge and innovation management and leadership ran, and we have people coming in from Abu Dhabi for a week, going back. It worked very well. We've improved it in as much as what we have now done is we've this is what an MBA is. MBAs are MBAs. They're just they're the same thing. Right? You have to put the same things in. What we've got here is some blocks. So many people in organisations, accounting and performance management, information systems, are common blocks where all our MBAs come together. One of the things we found was our public service managers talk to other public service managers. And our private sector managers talk to private sector managers. And actually, the world is different. The public sector and the private sector are merging. There's no such thing as a British MBA. It's, it's international. It's global. So we've, we've improved it in as much as they're coming together in these big blocks. And they can specialize. So you can do leadership. You can do knowledge management. And you can end up with an organized, with an integrative that is about the specialism, and is, all of this is based in your organization. I think one of the things that, again, one of the things we've realized in management education is organizations want to get something out of it. They're not going to pay for their manager to go on a course and, do, and get nothing out of it. So what we are creating is internal consultants. So you do it in the organization, go back to the organization. So, let me just have a quick look at the chain because I'm going to let you get onto the real stuff. Change management. The, the three, the first four, we do, we deliver in-house for companies. We've recently been working with um, Barclays International. Some of their people just did the a block course. Some of their people decided they wanted to get a credit. Some of them decided they wanted to get a postgraduate certificate. We did the same with the Ministry of Defence. So we have, we have wing commanders doing things on change management. Um, and we had, we, we, I was talking only on about acronyms and when you get, go and talk to the RAF and the armed services about things, you're in a whole different world. You're, they're talking about different things. But one of the things, I, just uh, as I say, that's quite interesting about talking to them was they're saying that their people are really well qualified. They can actually sign off an aeroplane to go and fly a bombing mission, but their qualification isn't recognized outside the RAF. So we've got highly trained people there who've got no qualifications in the, in the civil world. So this is, this is about managing change and managing innovation. And it's all about giving people the confidence to take on leadership. And I think 
we're into that kind of area that changes, changes what we do. Staying still is what we don't do. And I think as managers, I am a manager, it's scary. We don't know whether we're doing it right. And actually, again, this is about putting it together. And some of our people have gone on, I've got a, somebody who's just finished their doctorate. And I'll tell you, this is a quick story. He came to do the change management program with me and I said to him, what do you want to do? And he said, this is a, this is a master's level. He said, well, in Northern Ireland, there are 26 local authorities. There are 19 Protestant, there are six Catholic, and one hung. And the Protestants won't allow the Catholics into the Association of Local Authorities in Northern Ireland. So I'm going to change that. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> 30 years of struggle, he'll sort it out as part of his master's. He came back a few years later and he said, I want to do a doctorate. And I said, what do you want to do? And he said, well, I want to change things. And I said, well, what are you going to do? And he said, well, you know those 26 local authorities, they're going to become 11, so there's a big change project there. And I said, that sounds ex interesting, exciting, and challenging. And he said, yeah, but the other thing is in Northern Ireland, there are 52% women, and there's only 17% in senior positions in local authorities. I thought I'd change that. And that's what he's done. During the period, three years doing his doctorate, part-time, four new female chief executives were appointed in Northern Ireland. So, exciting, it's, it's, it's real stuff. Okay, so, <clears throat> just to give you an idea, they're in t short teaching modes, and they're intensive, and they're all about the <coughs> working with the organization and people sharing. What we've, again, what we've realized is we don't know much. Managers know an awful lot. What managers don't know is what they what they they actually know. And if you can provide the environment for change, that's where it is. Okay. <clears throat> I think the the new program is which is the change and in innovation just starts to pull two bits together and allows you to start to sort out some interesting ways of looking at innovation and managing the that innovation and that, that thing through the process.